or you know the black widow she mates with her her male mate and then she snuffs them so i'm working on this estrogen thing heavy it's going to be part of that geiger counter thing i okay embarrassment i'm 56 years old and i'm a virgin <gasps> uh, i'm sorry technically but uh, has the bell gone off the bell has not gone off but testimony should be relevant to the item before mr carr you remember when you voted and you can answer this after i sit down three minutes your time is up. There's some folks in Little Austin Town don't have a lot of dough. They're not using all your gasoline. They like to go real slow. My legal name is Greg Gay. I was bullied. I had my head shoved in the urinal. Lance, you were the one that shoved my head in the urinal. Thank you. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Lick on these nuts and suck the dick. That's Snoop Dogg. I am not a sexually active person. I do no sex. See, there's a movie called A-R-R-O-Y-O 2014. Get up and watch it. And guess what? I'm not the rancher. Not the rancher's wife. Not the rancher's kid. Not that I couldn't have been. That's not the path I chose, was it? My ex-husband's the killer. And newsflash, she's not dead. I have... Two boobs, not six. I have six butts. Because when you guys are talking about me, you have no idea who knows me. Sane people know that showing up at the local city council meetings will accomplish nothing. That's why I ask you to send me any complaints about your community, and I will give them the national platform they don't deserve in a segment I'm calling Local Twishes. <laughs> First, in my town of Glen Cove, my neighbors believe that they own the street, so they put out cones to reserve parking spots. One neighbor in particular doesn't like his cones touched, so he goes off whenever someone moves his cone or his recycling bin he uses as a third cone. Oh, I recommend settling this with violence. <laughs> the Steak and Shake in Cape Girardeau, Missouri closes at 10 p.m. That's too early. Please help us. <laughs> Tucker, I hear you, but you really shouldn't be eating steaks or shakes after 10 p.m. Now, if you have to, buy a heat lamp, then pick up your food at 10 and keep it warm until you're hungry. <laughs> my city, Clayton, Missouri, banned golf carts on the street. I've been driving my golf cart on the street for years. The surrounding cities allow it, but I have to drive illegally to get out of Clayton. Help me. Okay, now here's what you do, buddy. Carry a golf ball with you at all times. Then, when you get pulled over, you tell those do-nothing sons of bitches running Clayton, and you're playing your ball where it lies. <laughs> There's no Wi-Fi in my high school, and they make us use our phones for a bunch of things, wasting data I can't afford. Also, they opened up a second cafeteria in recent renovations called the Internet Cafe, but they don't allow students to connect to Wi-Fi. <laughs> you better be careful, right, with all caps. They're going to put you on a list. I'm tired of these spandex-wearing cycle freaks parading around in their bicycle gangs, slowing down traffic in Gwinnett County, Georgia. We need to introduce lions to the local population to pull this Lance Armstrong herd. I like where your head's at. I fully endorse releasing lions in the streets of Georgia. I'm just surrounded by idiots. Kalkaska, Michigan. Well, sure you are. You live in Kalkaska. The principal at our high school in Wisconsin has slept with multiple faculty members and even had a pregnancy scare with one of them. And no, I'm not talking about his wife, who is also a faculty member at the same high school. All right, you little snitch. <laughs> you mind your own goddamn business and let adults do what adults do. Tell Travel Magazine to stop naming Charleston the number one city in the country. It's driving all the Ohioans here. You'd have to live in Ohio your entire life to believe Charleston is the number one city anywhere. Wait, what is this, Beverly Hills? No, this is Charleston, South Carolina. This looks just like Malibu. No, Charleston. Is this South Beach, Miami? No, no, it's Charleston. Is this New York City? Oh, look at all this energy. No, it's just Charleston, <laughs> South Carolina. Hey, is this the Windy City? I, I just, it was such great food. No, no, you're in Charleston. <laughs> Charleston, South Carolina. How many other I Austin, is this Austin? <laughs> So much culture, so much good music. No, no, this is Charleston, <laughs> South Carolina. You can tell because we still have one of our old slave auction blocks. 
I don't think I'm far off. <laughs> Vandalia, Ohio, there are no sidewalks connected to the middle school for kids. Well, it's probably for the best. We could stand to have a few less middle schoolers. <laughs> Same-sex couples can't go to prom together. Commerce, Oklahoma. You guys got one of those boring-ass cishet proms? You should at least be allowed to use the back door. <laughs> you get it? Sherwin Williams has dumped toxic waste from their pain in Gibbsboro, New Jersey, and now it's causing a lot of health issues for the residents. It's classified as a cancer cluster, and the residents have mental health issues. The land, water, and air are toxic. This sounds like it might be more of a Netflix docuseries kind of problem. <laughs> we need a damn Popeye's chicken in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Do the Lord's work, Daniel. Bring me some of that finger-licking goodness. Okay, first of all, finger-licking good is KFC, you confused Oki. I live in Maplewood, Minnesota, and it's shaped like a bunch of cities were glued together. It sure is. I am all for redrawing all city lines until everything looks like a perfect square. Hashtag square mandarin our neighborhood has a sewer problem in Orange, Texas. It's the Nottingham neighborhood off of Highway 87. The slightest rain and nobody can flush. Help us fix this, please. Are you sure it's not all those husky brisket dumps you guys are famous for? <laughs> Warwick, Pennsylvania. Our school district still doesn't offer full day kindergarten, but somehow expects children to walk into first grade being able to read. It forces working parents to have to pay for private daycare. Most of other surrounding districts already offer full day kindergarten. Okay, let me tell you something. How dare they make you spend more time with your shitty, illiterate children? <laughs> Who needs kindergarten in Pennsylvania anyway? You're just gonna end up working in a coal mine. Kalamazoo, Michigan. Pair of shitty panties, water bottle, and a pack of Newports on the corner of our busiest road. Been there for weeks. <laughs> you sure it's not a roadside memorial for some lot lizard? <laughs> Pay your respects just to be safe, then pick it up. Sometimes my fish tacos aren't hot enough. Honolulu, Hawaii. Well, mahalo for your patience, Hawaii. Go outside, hold it over your lava for 30 seconds. You'll have all the heat you can handle. Twitter has ruined America.